next week is Christmas. I sang that weird, but I'm still really excited about it. If you couldn't tell from the weird singing, it's Christmas. Let's do the news. First of all, in the news, we have Chris Angel. TMZ reported that Chris Angel is actually filming a documentary entitled 1095, highlighting his son's cancer treatment. The name of the documentary actually comes from the number of days of chemotherapy needed for treatment, and he hopes to raise a million dollars for pediatric cancer research. We'll have more details on the film for you in the weeks ahead. Darcy Oak is set to attempt his most dangerous escape yet as part of the London New Year's Day Parade 30th anniversary event. That's a name for you. There's a video of him talking about the escape up on belfasttelegraph.co.uk. Check it out. Watch it. In other news, Darren Brown announced his 2016 UK tour dates in a tweet on Monday. Let's go find that tweet and then head over to his website and grab your tickets and go see him live. I'm very jealous. Steve Cohen hosted the cast of The Illusionists this week in New York. The Illusionists are currently performing on Broadway, so Steve invited the cast over to the Waldorf Astoria for a night of magic and drinks, but mostly magic. I hope. Actually. And finally, we want to wish a very happy birthday to Dynamo as he continues his UK tour. That's all the news for me this week, guys. I will see you guys next week for a Christmas episode. I kind of want to dress like Buddy the Elf. Just saying. Yellow tights are awesome. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Happy, merry, almost Christmas holidays and everything else that you celebrate. I'm so excited. Eggnog, but without the eggs. Nog, that's a thing. I'm excited for Nog. Two words, Star Wars. Go see it. That's five words. This week we have a lot of great reviews on Sleeper, the new rising card effect that we released. It is amazing, so go check it out. Go to theory11.com forward slash tricks. It's awesome. Also, this week on The Wire we have a few new releases. Last week I mentioned Patrick Kuhn's release, and this week we have a new one from Bizau. It looks great, and it is free, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> Two weeks left in the holiday contest. We have the wheel spun over 50,000 times, which is ridiculous. We have hundreds of you guys winning elite discount points to free decks, gold monarchs, and the holiday ornaments, which we posted a video of on our Instagram page of the etching process. And that is the only way of winning the holiday ornaments is by spinning those wheels, so good luck. You get one free one a day, don't forget. Last week's comment contest, I asked you guys to guess which two cards I have put inside this beautiful box. So, let's see. Drum roll, please. Which ones are they? I don't know, it could be anything. Looks like one of them is a court card, is it? I don't know, you will never get this. Double backers. Just kidding. They are the Jack of, rather the King of Spades and the Jack of Diamonds. So, congratulations to nobody. We'll be shipping it to your house nowhere in the world for free. So let's try this again. This week's comment contest, same thing. I'm gonna put two random cards, not these two, not the King of Spades or the Jack of Diamonds. So if you say one of them, I will slap you across the screen. So let's try this again. I'm gonna shuffle the deck, and I'm going to put two random cards inside the box. And your job is to tell me which two cards I have put inside of here. The stakes are high. Good luck. <laughs> 